Hello guys. I know it's been a while, but um, I've been going through some things and dealing with my own shit, so I've been absent. I am here with you now. I'm going to try to be a little more consistent. Um, yeah. And <laughs> get on a schedule. For you guys. I do have that Aries energy. If you don't know what that is, I'm not going to expand on it here. But, um, oh, justice. But you can look it up for yourself and you, you'll see why. I am the way I am. Okay, so justice is there. Libra energy. Hmm. There's something that you're trying to figure out. You're trying to figure out what to do about it. Because you don't want to hurt someone, I feel like. But I feel like for a lot of you, you're looking out for yourself at this point. There's something, some personal endeavor that um, you're exploring. But you don't want to hurt somebody in the process. Here. This reading is for Sagittarius, if I didn't already say it. And this is your monthly for March. What is the energy around Sagittarius? Ace of Cups. Is this new love? Or is this self-love? For some of you, this is self-love. And for some of you, this is new love. And I'm feeling like there is, um, some of you guys are contemplating leaving somebody because you fell in love with somebody else, or because you're attracted to someone else, or you're leaving somebody because you're just not feeling them. Something like that. Water energy here. But this is the beginning. This is the beginning of something new here. What's crossing Sagittarius? What's crossing Sagittarius? Two of Cups. There it is. Two people there. I think it's to figure out if your feelings are real for someone. Because sometimes new interest new love or new um almost feeling what is the word <laughs> it's that feeling that you have for someone when you meet them and you have these butterflies and you know it's that initial encounter like is that real and then our old love may not seem so fresh and so new you know so there is a choice for you to make here and I think that is where that justice energy comes from. It's like, do I really want to give up this person for this person? Because the grass always seems green on the other side, but you're really feeling somebody here. You're really feeling somebody here. And then for others of you, this is just you meeting somebody else that without having you know another person involved in it this is you meeting somebody new and having those giddy feelings but you have to put in the work so it can grow because I think this right now is just how you feel is to explore this and see if they feel the same way cancer energy what is the underlying issue here for Sagittarius High priestess, maybe you haven't told someone how you feel. You're keeping it to yourself. That's Pisces energy there. You're keeping it to yourself. You're like, you're keeping your cards to yourself. Maybe there's somebody here that does not know exactly how you feel. One way or the other. You've got three different situations here. There's some secrets that are here. If there's a partner involved already in a new interest, somebody's being kept in the dark. The truth has not been spoken. Okay? Some of you are not following your intuition. You're not following your heart. Your gut is telling you something here. 
Then I see the Three of Swords under there. This is, I feel, for somebody's going to be heartbroken. Um, somebody's going to be disappointed for sure. If there's three people in this situation, including you, somebody's going to be hurt, disappointed. And I feel like you don't want to hurt or disappoint anyone is the thing. The Three of Swords is Libra energy. Hmm. The recent past for Sagittarius. King of Cups. You love somebody. And somebody loved you. <laughs> is the thing. But I do feel like there's some there's somebody here currently that you are overwhelmed and have emotions for. You really care for somebody here. Somebody cares for you too. I think you met someone that has really like, oh my God, that has lit a fire under you. Water is very strong in your reading. There's a lot of emotions here. Crowning thoughts for Sagittarius. Oh my God, Queen of Cups. Somebody's in love with you. Somebody is in love with you. Somebody really wants to be with you and feel like you are uh, their one. We have the King and the Queen of Cups here. I don't feel like you are that sure though. You're not that sure. And then I feel like this reading is like crazy to me. There's a King of Swords under the bottom of the deck. And I feel like that's that other person. You still have love for someone, but you are experiencing these emotions for someone else is what I'm feeling. And the person that you're currently involved with or have a history with, you're questioning where, whether or not you should leave or not. Because there's, there's your match right there. But uh, maybe maybe this person, the person that you're with, they lack emotion. This this Somebody here gives you what you feel like you haven't been receiving before. What's coming in for Sagittarius? This is juicy. <laughs> There's like different stories here. There's that three of swords coming up again. That disappointment, that heartache, that heartbreak, that, oh my God, three party situation. You guys know your situation. So I've already stated the different situations that are here. So you take out of it what resonates with you. What's coming in for Sagittarius? Queen of Swords. There's that air energy again. I feel like somebody's going to be demanding the truth because they feel like they, they already know something. Somebody al already feels like the other person is pulling away or is hiding something. Somebody wanting to know the truth. What's the deal? What's, what's what? How is Sagittarius viewing this situation? Four of Cups. Kind of indifferent. Kind of indifferent. Not really knowing what to do. I feel like somebody 
feels more emotion in this situation than you do. I think you're more concerned with your own personal happiness at this point. But there's somebody that is so... In, I think two people are so in love with you. One of them act like they could give a take you though. Like they come across kind of cold. But the other person is like um, pouring emotions out. And you're like, I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can just sit here and act like I don't see either one of them. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's the kind of thing that I'm feeling. Like, I don't know what the hell to do. I don't want to hurt anybody in this situation. It's what I'm feeling. That Cancer energy. Cancer Pisces. And I feel like um, Libra is here. Uh, may also be Gemini. <clears throat> what is the influence here for Sagittarius? Yeah, Eight of Swords. I know. I know. You're feeling kind of trapped. Not really knowing what to do. Not really knowing how to handle the situation. Not knowing which way to go. What to do. Again. Thinking about past issues. Thinking about um, the history. I mean, there's just a lot of things here that I feel like are at play for you. Hmm. Hopes or fears for Sagittarius. Six of Swords. I think we saw that one too flip over. Showing itself again. You're hoping that you guys can, um, either way, and I feel like this has more to do with um, that King of Swords, that you guys can discuss stuff and uh, amicably, you know, and be able to move on. You know, there may be some hurt feelings here, but you you don't want it to be any strife, any, any um, hard feelings. For some of you, I feel like you've had an affair. You've done something. And um, this King of Swords is still very much in your life. And somebody knows. They know. At this point. And you're hoping that you guys can get past this. For some of you. Like, there's all kinds of things going on here, guys, which is weird for me. I see all kinds of things, and I'll be here all day, but I can't. What's the overall outcome here? Three of Cups. Hmm. For some of you, you you just want to date, okay? There's several situations going on here, okay? So I'm just going to go through the ones that we talked about thus far. Some of you are actually single. Some of you have an ex, right? And you're single right now. An ex that you, you may want to get back with or you have thought about getting back with. But you've met somebody. In the dating scene. This person has way more feelings for you than you do for them. And you continue to date. You're not invested in that person. The second scenario. Is you're still with that king of swords. And somebody cheated. With the king of cups. King of swords finds out. But you still want to make things work with the king of swords. You're hoping that you can move on. You're hoping that you guys can like, you know, try to rebuild your relationship here. But this King of Cups is lingering. Okay. So that is what I see here. 
and I feel like you're you're kind of caught between two people. Um, I think the King of Cups likes you way more than you like them. I think you definitely have feelings for them, but yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna pull a Romance Angels card. And we're going to close this reading out. And keep in mind, this reading can go vice versa too. Like this can be someone that's done this to you. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay, guys. So that is what I have for you. Very confusing reading. There's, there's a lot going on here for you guys. Hmm. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye now.